Okay, let's have a look at the second type of question. Um, this one says, how many hosts will each segment support if the class B address 132.2.0.0 is subnetted with a 29-bit mask? So the first thing we've got to do is work out what a 29-bit mask is, and then we can find out how many hosts are applicable. And we've got a whole list of uh, numbers that could be the number of hosts that are available on this subnet. So what we're going to use to do this is a lookup table. We're going to create ourselves a lookup table. This is how we're going to create the lookup table. First of all, we're going to list down all of the various masks or all the various values that can be applicable in each octet. So, for example, if the mask is set to 1 followed by 7 zeros, then we would be using a 128 mask. If it was 1 1 followed by 6 zeros, then that equates to decimal 192. If it's 3 1s followed by uh, 5 zeros, then the decimal equivalent of that is 224. If we have four ones followed by four zeros, it's 240, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. So all we're doing is listing down the decimal values for each of the applicable uh, ranges or, or bit patterns we could have in an 8-bit octet. The values on the right-hand side there are just a different way of writing that. So for, exa for example, slash 25 means 25 bits of networking. In other words, 25 network bits, which gives us, what, 7 bits of host space. Yeah, for example, dot 28 is 28 bits of networking, slash 28 is 28 bits of networking, which gives us 4 bits of host space. Okay, the next part of the lookup table is to create a host portion of it. We know that the host portion of the address is represented by the zeros in the subnet mask. Ones are network, zeros are host. So if we had a value like that, 255, where all of the octet is taken up with ones, that means there is no host space. If we've got a value like that, 254, then it means we've got seven bits of network with one bit of host space. Now, we know we can't use the first and last addresses in the host. With that zero set, there's only two values that could be put in there, a one or a naught, and that would be the top and bottom of the range. So we have to subtract two, the top and bottom uh, host addresses, from any number of hosts that we can actually have on this subnet. So if we subtract two from two, as you can see, then we are not allowed to have any hosts on that particular subnet. Here's another one, 252. We've got six bits of networking, two bits of host space. With the two bits of host space, we can have four different values, 00, 01, 10, and 11. So that means it gives us four different values. We subtract the top one, subtract the bottom one. That gives us a, a, a number of hosts that we can have on that subnet. So a mask of something like 255, 255, 255, 252 would be uh, two hosts. It gives us two hosts, something like a serial link. With uh, would have that on it. 248, that gives us three bits of host space. That means we've got eight different values can go in there, subtract the two, six hosts, and so on. So 240 gives us 16 possible combinations in four host bits. Subtract the two gives us 14 hosts. And all we're doing is creating a table that tells us how many hosts are applicable for each mask that we've got, for the number of uh, host bits that we've got uh, available to us. So we're going to list this like this. We're going to put across the top the first set of values, all of these subnet values, the 128, 192, 224, 240, 248, and so on. And then down the left-hand side, we're going to have the number of hosts applicable for each number of host bits. And then we're going to use this table to calculate um, our, 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 the number of hosts that we need. So remember what the question was. It said, how many hosts will each segment support if the class B address 132.2.0.0 is subnetted with a 29-bit mask? So the first thing we need to do is work out what a 29-bit mask is. Well, we know what a 24-bit mask is. It's 255.255.255.0. So we need an extra four bits, oh, sorry, extra five bits of networking. So the tw first 24 bits is that. We need an extra five bits of networking, and we're going to count across the top from the left to right. So if we have a look at that, we can see that an extra five bits of networking gives us a mask of 
248. So it's going to be 255255255. That's the first 24 bits. And then an extra five bits of subnetting, 248. So the mask we've got, a 29-bit mask, equates to decimal value, 255255255248. All we're going to do then is work out how many host bits we've got left. Well, you can see the black numbers on the right gives us an extra three bits. So once we've used up the network portion, the 29-bit network portion, we've got three bits of host space. Now we're going to use the left-hand column here. We're going to count down from the top three bits. So the one, two, three brings us down to the eight minus two equals six. So the number of hosts that are supported on this are six bit, are six hosts. So it's just an easy lookup table. Three host bits, if we count down the column, three host bits, starting from the top, we get six hosts available to us.